Security cameras. Security cameras do nothing. Okay. Still commands. Open all security doors. Security door access override. Enter command. Okay. Is that it? I have the override code for the primary security console already. Doors open. Okay, finally. I hit there immediately. There we go. I don't know what the problem was. Alright, let's do this. I told you that door wouldn't stop me. Okay, it looks like this uh, bug isn't going to pick itself during the load of this fight. Is he like immune to, la to lasers? Alright, it's looking that way. Um, okay. Hopefully, we got a shield right now. now. Save and reload real quick for the queen speech so that we don't miss anything, hopefully. It's weird, it's like it's almost like those uh, files just aren't in the game. Like, I hope I didn't get like a corrupted install or something. What's uh, doing here? Why is he fighting everybody? What is going on? I'm so confused right now. Which I've been saying ever since I got here pretty much, but especially right now. I save him one more slot. Defense of Isis requires money. All right, punks. Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. 
You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Baklu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny. One larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Baklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Damn you! Your skill with the blade won't save you from my men. Goodbye, Talia. Fire! Did I miss anything? So you must be Jero Veklu. What? The Jedi lives? But how? You'll find I'm full of surprises. Kill him and the Queen men. Quickly. They must not be allowed to live. This battle, Talia. But your reign won't be an easy one. The Republic is a sinking ship, and you're too attached to it. He's too dangerous to leave alive. As distasteful as it is, it might be best to silence him forever. Until he's dead, all of Onderon is in peril. Although I respect your counsel, Kreia, the decision is the Queen's, not mine. So what will it be, your majesty? Send me to your best detention cell. I will be free within the week, and vengeance will be mine. Are you so sure of my decision, Vaklu? I appreciate the Jedi's counsel, but as monarch, I decree you are guilty of treason. The punishment is death, to be carried out immediately. Captain Cadron? Talia, you can't. You're... but you're... you're too weak. What about my trial? Stay silent on this one. Your whole life has been a trial, Vatlu, but it's over now. You are right. We can't detain you. Too many people are still loyal to you. You've left me no real option. Men, ready blasters. Aim. But you can't. This this can't be. Fire! What is done? is done. I don't think the service you have given us can ever be repaid. I must go with Captain Cadron. The fighting must be stopped. I will be back shortly to try and repay you. The crisis is over thanks to you and Master Kavar. I believe he'd like to speak to you, if you'll excuse me. Not a mortal one, though it has been some time since I exercised my healing powers. There is a shred of life within you still. A gift from your master, no doubt. Awaken, Colonel Tobin. Your part in this is not over. Colonel Tobin, I am with Vaklu. The war has gone against him. He sent me to rescue you, to tell you you must make haste off planet. The Jedi have struck. They had a secret academy buried on Telos, and they are showing themselves at last. We are all in danger. What? But the Jedi are gone. They have all but vanished. So we all thought. But they have hidden themselves on Telos. Out of my way, old woman. This war can still be won, and Onderon can be freed. Indeed. This war is far from over. Wow, Kreia, you are a slippery one. Tell me that I need to kill Vaklu and then going and siding with his colonel? She's obviously just trying to pit everybody against everybody. Sneaky, sneaky. The Queen's requested you stay here until she gets back. I imagine you'll get some sort of reward. Talk with Master Kavar. She shouldn't take too long. 
Yeah, well, I was planning on doing that. But the Queen is requested to talk Master Com The Force works in mysterious ways, it seems. There are times I'm not convinced it doesn't have a sense of humor. We spend all this time looking for you, and you came to us. I thought you might return to Onderon. Looks like just in time. You were looking for me? I told the other Masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you, and try to understand what happened to you. I don't know how much you know about this threat that's striking at the Jedi. It's attacking us through the Force. Varuk didn't believe me, but he was willing to travel to Dantooine, if only to help the settlers there, and perhaps protect what was left of the Jedi Enclave. Whatever the reason, having us all drop out of sight, I thought might make the enemy more bold. But then you happened. You came back. And you became a new target for whoever was attacking us. Why'd you choose these places to hide? They were places touched by war. And we thought there was a chance you would return to these worlds. If only to try and make peace with what happened there during the war. But now the Sith have revealed themselves. That means the remaining Jedi will gather on Dantooine. From there, we can counterattack. Why not Telos? Telos? But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I heard they're trying to rebuild. Atris intends to rebuild the Jedi Order on Telos. Atris? I thought Atris had gone to Qatar. Too many Jedi have scattered. The Council needs to gather. We cannot remain concealed any longer. What happened on Qatar? We knew that someone was preying on us, hunting us. Finally, the Jedi decided to take action and called a secret conclave on Qatar to decide what must be done. Before the meeting could even begin, all the Jedi on the planet were killed along with the Mira Lucas and all other life on the planet. Their deaths could be felt throughout the galaxy. So the Council decided that we must not present ourselves as a target again. The consequences to others were just too great. That we should use our resources to find who was responsible and deal with them. I think you're the only one who's made progress. Have questions? The difficulties you've surmounted to get here. You must have many questions. You deserve answers. Why'd you come here? It's a long story, but there's a reason the Jedi have scattered across the galaxy. We've come to worlds such as this one. Worlds touched by war, or great tragedies, can be felt within the Force, strongly. We thought that by traveling to such worlds, it would help conceal us from the eyes of the enemy. And they were places we thought we might find you. Whatever I... Where are all the Jedi? Scattered, searching for you. Going to places where they thought they might cross your path. You were our last hope. I didn't get that impression from Vrook. I think we all know that Vrook isn't easily swayed from his convictions, and his views on anyone who went to the Mandalorian Wars are low. They were looking for me? Yes. At least that's what I asked them to do. I believe you are the key to this whole war. Why? When you stood before us in the council chamber on Coruscant, we felt something from you we'd never felt before. It was as if the Force had died within you, leaving you hollow. We had suspicions as to why this was, but nothing definite. But rather than try to understand, we sent you away. I think because at some level, there was fear. We live our whole lives in touch with the Force, in touch with life all around us. And you had a gift in that regard. You formed bonds so easily, and they flowed deep between you and others. To see such emptiness in the Force standing before you, it's not an easy thing to face. Whatever is attacking us, it is leaving something in its wake. Something we haven't felt since you stood before us in judgment. The deaths of the Jedi, the destruction of Qatar, all of these things are leaving behind echoes, like the one we felt from you in the council chamber. It was clear to us, to me, that we had to find you, but we couldn't call you back from exile because we didn't know where you'd gone. Plus, there was a chance we might put you in danger, and that we couldn't allow. If you couldn't feel the Force, then it would just make you a target. I don't know how you got back, but I'm glad you're here. Tell me more about the Echoes. The thing is, in traveling to these places, these places where war was fought, we felt the same thing. Echoes. Something happened in all these places, but it's hard to figure out what. It's hard to sense things through the Force in such places. Too much pain occurred here. It makes listening to the Force difficult. We resolved to meet again on Dantooine, but only when the threat revealed itself. Unfortunately, I happened to be here when it struck. Now that we've stabilized Onderon, I can join the others on Dantooine. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Hmm. 
I need to know why you cast me out of the order. There was nothing else we could do. You defied the council. You followed Revan to war. I know why you did it, but in so doing, much more harm was done. But you must understand, the exile was never the punishment you thought it to be. We could not have made you do such a thing in any event. I think you knew, inside, what you needed to do in order to heal. Perhaps so. Give me time to reflect. All those lives during the Mandalorian Wars, and all those you served beside, too much death leaves echoes in the Force. It is the price for having such connections. I suspect that is why you chose to accept the Council's judgment, to wander beyond the Rim, and why you traveled with no one, and did not stay in any place too long. I have thought of you since your trial, and there are times when I wonder if being connected to the Force is always the gift it is believed to be. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Why'd you cut me off from the Force? Cut you off from the Force? Why do you think the Council was responsible for that? No, I'm afraid the cause of your condition was as great a mystery to the Council as it is to you. Whatever I can tell you, I will. I've re-established my connection to the Force. You always had deep connections to the Force. I'm glad to see that it is once again your ally. When I first sparred with you doing your training as a Padawan, I could tell that you were different. And it wasn't just your strong connection to the Force. Whatever I can tell you, I will. I saw a hollow recording of the Jedi Council meeting after you cast me let out. So, you heard what we said. These questions I cannot answer. This is something the Council must answer, not I. You must understand, this is hard for me, especially after all you've done, but it is necessary. Why is this hard for you? Did you know that when I was training you, I considered making you my Padawan? I didn't. The demands of the Jedi Council were too great, but I considered you a friend. I even tried to convince you to become a Jedi Guardian. We could have used someone like you. So the decision that had to be made was not easy. But I cannot say anything more. Whatever I can tell you, I will. I developed a force bond with another. If either one of us feels pain, so is the other. If either one of us dies... That sounds like the bond that often forms between master and apprentice. But to that degree? You always did form connections to others. Strong ones. Even when you were a student. But what you are describing is beyond me. I'm sure others in the Jedi Council would be able to assist you. If you could find them. Whatever I can tell you, I will. The Sith have revealed themselves. I know that all too well. I came here to find them. To trace them to their source. The war on Duxon and Onderon. I had thought that perhaps the tragedies that occurred here were concealing them. Why did the Sith come here? They wanted to aid General Vaklu in breaking away from the Republic. If Onderon became independent, this place would be an excellent staging ground for them. But I fear it was more than that. That the consequences of Onderon's fall would have greater implications for the galaxy. Well, the Sith risked defeat at the end of the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi Order has been fighting the dark side since the beginning. Our rules and the Jedi Code provide protection from what's inside each of us. The dark side is always there, and it is something that can never truly be defeated. I feel our current troubles, though, are beyond what we faced before. This threat that is targeting us, drawing us out, it's not a battle we're used to, and it has ended many of us. Do you know anything about this threat? Not enough. I feel it is something that was born from the wars that have struck the Republic. The threat is Sith, but the manner and timing of their attacks is difficult to defend against. We don't know all that the Sith planned during the Jedi Civil War. What secret training grounds may still remain. What worlds he discovered. We just don't know. Even after we deal with this current threat, I fear we may be dealing with the legacy of the Jedi Civil War for years to come. Did you have any success in tracing the Sith? You've had more success than I. General Vaklu's men and their allies effectively kept me pinned inside the palace. I felt all along that Vaklu had contacted the Sith. But the identity and purpose of the Sith, that I can't say. You 
You've answered all my questions. There is something I would like to teach you. It is a technique which, I believe, will aid you in the trials ahead. There are times when you want to overwhelm a particular opponent quickly. For these situations, use the Juyo form. Do not get carried away using this form, particularly against Dark Jedi. The ferocity required to use this form leaves one vulnerable to enemy force powers. Excellent. I'm impressed with how quickly you've mastered this form. I always knew you were gifted. I'm going to Dantooine. The Jedi Council vowed to assemble again when the Sith revealed themselves. Now that they've attacked Onderon, we can act. Our paths will cross again. May the Force be with you. I'm sorry to keep you here. I needed to thank you personally for all of your help. Onderon owes both you and Master Kavar a debt that can never truly be repaid. Battles still wage in our streets, but by morning the conflict should be over. I recognize you must leave soon, but please, take this. I had also planned on giving you some relics from Onderon's past, but Vaklu's troops looted our museum. I hope the credits and my sincere thanks are enough. Captain Bostuka has made arrangements for a shuttle to take you to your ship. I fear it will be quite some time before you can come back. The war was brief, but destructive. I will focus all of my energy on rebuilding Isis. Thank you again. I must go. If you will follow me, I will take you to your shuttle.